Welcome back to Addicted to Straight Girls Anonymous. Julia, thank you for bringing cupcakes to this week's meeting. For those of you that are wondering, they're vegan. Let's not freak out again. Who wants to start? Adriana, how about you start? Hi, my name is Adriana. Hi, Adriana. I mean, it's been, I don't even know, like forever since my, sorry. Who's that who texted you? No one, no one. It's um, actually my mom. It's, it's her. Oh my God, stop. Text her back. Enabler. I only text when it's like an emergency, like, a, like an actual like crazy emergency. And this is an emergency because she wanted to know if her outfit looked too uh, gay. You should text her back. You're lying to yourself. Hmm. I'm just tired. I'm tired of straight girls flocking to me. I'm tired of flipping girl after girl after girl after girl. Oh my God, shut, shut up, up, Jen. Up. You don't have to brag. I guess I'll go next. Hi, my name's Julia. Hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. And I am a compulsive sleeper with straight girls. It's actually been eight months since I last gave in to one of my straight girl crush urges. Good for you. That's eight months more than me. I had a weak moment last Tuesday. She um, invited me over to watch Faking It. <laughs> Clearly she didn't see the irony in that. I think we can all take a note from Julia's strengths. And last week we were at the movies and her hand like accidentally touched my hand. And we didn't even, I didn't even like try and kiss her or anything. Like, what? I can't even go into a restaurant without the waitress following me into the bathroom. It's ridiculous. It's like actually insane. Fuck you, Jen. Are you serious right now? I can say something. No. Oh, um, my name is Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Natalie. This is my first time here. And I wanted to talk about, um, the other day, I was at the mall with my friend, and she grabbed my hand. This is how it starts. And we were holding hands. Okay, but it wasn't like the normal friend holding hands. It was like the interlocking couple way that people hold hands. Couples in love, right? So it got me thinking that she's probably bi. No. No, 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 she's not. But the, but... So this one time we were at a club, it was slacks, mind you. And she says that after she drinks two beers, when she gets drunk, she likes to kiss girls. So I just threw her in a cab with some Coke and pizza. It took a lot. But I did it. Why did you do that? She's bi, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Julia, even I would have kissed her. Okay, so every time we're hanging out at my place watching a movie, she always asks to stay over. Like, she'll initiate it. And the weird thing is, it'll be like nine o'clock at night, and she only lives 10 minutes away, walking. That's totally weird. Last week, at a friend's wedding, two of them, bridesmaids. Is she for real? Who, who invited her? It's not like it was six. That's happened before. <laughs> oh my God, shut up, Jen. I just think that like I should be there for her. You know, she's getting her hair cut today. What if she doesn't like it? She like scooch closer to me and always wants to be the little spoon. I just want to date a lesbian. Like, is that too much to ask? Fuck. I just don't want to be a lesbian Sherpa anymore. Oh. Ladies, I'm so sorry to do this. I have to cut today's meeting short. My boyfriend just texted. He's locked out of the house. I'm sorry, your boyfriend? Are you straight? But like, bi straight, right? Don't look me in the eyes. Don't. No, I'll flip you. I will flip you. Don't. 